Hi there, welcome to Biz Intelligence. In this video, we will take a look at two different ways to calculate running total, that means cumulative sum in Power BI using DAX. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's take a look at data set we have. We have sales data where we have date field, employee ID, product ID and unit sold. Now let's take a look at matrix visual that I have created on my report canvas. You can see it here where I have used date field from the sales data and I have used year and month hierarchy for the date field and I have used unit sold so that I can see total unit sold for the respective month and respective year. Now here we want to calculate running total that means when it is January month it will show us the total unit sold for the January month when it will move to February month it will show us the sum of total unit sold for January and February as well when it will move to March it should show us the total unit sold from Jan to March. Now quickly take a look at the logic that we are going to use in this calculation. Let's take February month and here what we are going to do is for Feb month we are going to calculate the max date from the February month. So it will be 28th Feb and we will compare that date with all the dates we have in sales data field and we will check whether date is less than or is equal to max date and we will consider only those rows to calculate running total. Now let's go to home tab and click on new measure. Now let's call it run underscore total. And here first we will calculate the max date for the current month. So here we will declare one variable. Let's call it var v underscore max date. So v underscore is a prefix that I use for my variable name so that I easily identify them is equal to max and cell date. So it will give me the maximum date for the, the current month that we have in this matrix visual. Now let's move to next line and return. And here we will use calculate function and we will say give me the sum of total unit sold. Close the sum function here and here we will use filter function. So here we have to remove any filter that has been applied on this sales data table. So we will use all function. It will return you all the rows in a table or, or all the values in a column, ignoring any filter that has been applied on that specific column or table. So here we will call, give me all the rows from sales data table. And here we will compare sales data's date field, whether that date is less than is equal to max date that we have calculated before. Let's close filter function and calculate function as well. Press enter and now let's go and drag this new measure that we have created in value section. And now you can see we have running total ready. You can see for January month it is uh, it is showing us the that specific month's total unit sold. But when it moves to Feb month it is showing us the sum of total units from January month to February month. When it is it moves to March it shows us the sum of of total unit sold from Jan to March. One thing that you can notice here is when it reaches to December and moves to next year, it carries the running total from previous year and continues to next year as well. So when we want to reset the running total for the next year and we want to calculate running total only for that respective year and when it moves to next year, we want to reset that running total, we will implement another logic for that. We will go to home tab and here we will say let's go to new major let's call it run underscore total 2 and here we are not going to use the previous logic where we compared the maximum date of the month with all the dates we have in sales data instead of that we are going to use an existing DAX function which will do that task for us so let's start with calculate function and let's call it sum of units sold so here we are going to use dates ytd function which will return a set of dates in the year up to current date. So let's take February month when this measure will calculate the running total for February month it will take the max date of February month and it will return all the dates on or before that max date for that respective year. So that comparison of max date with all the dates in the sales data will be done by dates ytd function. So let's take sales data date field and here we are going to use date part of that date field. Let's close this YTD function and let's close calculate function. Press enter. Now let's go and drag this run underscore total to major in our matrix visual and let's see the result. Now you can see we got the running total as per our requirement and you can see as soon as it moves to next year it resets the running total and starts again. 
So these are the two ways that you can use to calculate running total in Power BI using DAX. If you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.